a highly divisive issue in Bolivia, the trial of former interim president Janine Añez. She's been in pretrial detention for almost a year and could be sentenced up to 12 years if she's found guilty of the charges of unconstitutionally assuming the presidency following the removal of Evo Morales in 2019. Even though the trial was suspended at last minute, outside the courthouse, her supporters say the trial is a sign of revenge by the current administration of Luis Arce. She has to be freed because what is happening to her is unfair. Eva Morales and his followers are seeking revenge with this woman. But she is not alone. She is with us and we will defend her. But not everyone agrees. Government supporters say Agnes has to be tried for the alleged human rights abuses she committed while she was in office when over 20 people were killed in protests. We are asking for justice for the children that are orphans, for the mothers who lost their children, for the wives who lost their husbands. We want justice and for that woman to remain in prison. For now, the former president is only being tried for how she made it to power. Agnes' daughter has been campaigning for her mother's release. Agnes sent her a letter from prison saying she's going on a hunger strike because she has no guarantees that her trial will be impartial. In 2019, Evo Morales committed fraud in the elections. Evo Morales resigned and left the country, leaving the country empty. He wanted to generate chaos and a civil war. And after the vice president resigned and everybody else from his party, my mother was brave enough and the next in line, and that's why she's being judged. Agnes' lawyers managed to postpone the trial, alleging the judgment of the former president should be in person and not virtually. Her trial has also raised concerns internationally on whether Agnes and members of her administration are victims of political persecution. The trial has opened old wounds in Bolivia and increases the polarization that has divided this Andean nation for years. Teresa Wo, Al Jazeera.